What's up everybody? I'm Ibrahim. Welcome back to the channel. If you haven't guessed by the title of the video and well the writing on this box Today we are taking a look at a new wheel from NRG Innovations They sent me you guys know I've been doing a lot of racing and when you have a wheel like my 350 Alcatara wheel with a big drop down for drifting it makes it very hard to reach paddles So that is why I was be using the Forza wheel get in focus there the Forza wheel that came on the Fanatec because it's a flat flat rim wheel so this box is definitely going to help me out in the racing endeavor with everything that's going on so that's enough talk let's get to opening this box and actually see what's inside because I'm not 100% sure all right so we're going to open this up very carefully because like I said I'm not sure all of what's in the box don't want to really ruin the beautiful NRG tape but I feel like we're gonna have to in order to open this up my dog over here, like, what's in the box? Is it for me? It's not for you. It's not for you, doggo. So, like I said, Energy Innovations, big sponsor of the channel for a long time now. Big thank you to them for sending this out to me. And we uh, can take a look at what's inside here. Ooh, we have a different box inside the box. You guys know when I got the, uh, the Alcatara wheel. It came in this really nice, you know, box with, you know, inserts and everything like that. Well, looks like we got a another nice another nice box inside the box. This one's actually really cool. I like this one too. I get so excited about the boxes that things come in. So, like I said, it's another cool box that I'm going to put on display in my office as well. So, without further ado, let's take a look at what's inside. Oh, man. Thank you for trusting our brand enjoy energy innovations and it has a really awesome cover on it which means <laughs> my dog wants to see which means that it is some form of suede so the dog's trying to get in on this oh what you want to get in on it no okay so as you can see already it looks really amazing it's got not just a sticker horn button as you can see it's actually a full like engraved horn button which we're definitely gonna have to use and as you can see it is not a dish spoke so let's take a look here take off the covering and it is a suede and black wheel just like my other drift wheel but this one is a flat rim I definitely love the way the spoke pattern is this thing looks amazingly cool without the drop down which will make it easier to get to my paddles and I love when they come with these fancy little uh, little material tags that show you what material it's actually made out of this is a beautiful wheel I'm definitely gonna have to mount this on with this horn part on because that just looks amazing take a look at that take a right there take a look get it focused in there it's not a, like a sticker it's actually like an engraved wheel with the energy on the bottom and of course the energy on the back the stitching work and this is gonna feel really nice now a lot of people would say the spokes being at, bent up in a weird way is weird for racing because your hands are up higher but there's two different styles of driving there's that way or there's a way where you keep your fingers from going inside and you don't wrap in and you pretty much set them that way so definitely gonna be amazing gonna want to get this thing on the rig and uh, get some hot laps in some race cars because the iRacing server and everything that I'm running with now this is gonna be a great addition to my wheel set we're gonna close this up and you know having two beautiful NRG wheels specifically for drifting with a deep dish and a not deep dish for racing is gonna mean I don't have to use that Fanatec one anymore definitely big thank you to NRG Innovations for making this video completely possible and for being a supporter of me and the channel for a very long time I think it's time we get this on the rig and actually uh, see what we can do. The dog over here. Say hi, Kai. Say hi. Oh, pff, she kicked the camera. We're going to get this on the rig and we're going to give it a rip. All right, so we got the wheel mounted on the rig. As you can see, we're going to pop this up to quick release. We did get the NRG brake button and everything installed. So before we get into here, run some hot laps here on R-Factor 2. We are actually in VR, so I'm using 
a secondary monitor to see what I'm actually seeing so I can actually, you know, touch the wheel and stuff like that. Definitely a very different experience for me, to say the least. So before we actually start doing anything here in R Factor, we're going to take a little bit of a different look. So the Forza wheel that I was using is all is actually a little bit smaller, as you can see. It is a 320 versus 350 wheel, so that's something a little bit different. But the biggest and best change is going to be right here on the side. How close my paddles actually are to my wheel. So I did have to do a little bit of modification to get uh, the button in here to fit right. Basically on the button, but my paddles are right there. So my hands are going to be very comfortable how I like to shift right on the paddle shifters. Now, if you compared that to the you know the drift wheel with the drop down spokes there was no way i could reach the paddles on this mile if i modified the paddles moved them around i can actually move these paddles up a little bit more by moving the whole bracketry up slightly so i can adjust it a little more and move it all up if i wanted to but it fits real nicely on the fanatec or any 70 mil hub so we're going to actually get this thing on if i could see where the hub was there it is <laughs> get it on the rig and then we are going to go in car and we are going to take our M6 GT3 out here on Long Beach because Long Beach was supposed to be this weekend. So we're going to load in our tune. We're going to run a couple hot laps with our new NRG Innovations wheels. I got to get gloves so I don't destroy the Alcatara. going to be ordering maybe some carding gloves or something like that. So let's get to it. First person, Long Beach, in our M6 GT3. So already feeling the difference. I know there's going to be a little bit of difference going from a smaller 320 wheel to a 350. So it's something I'll have to get adjusted to because you feel like you don't, you have to turn more on a smaller rim than you do a bigger rim because you have more of a, I guess you would say a turning torque so we're going to come out of pit turn our pit limiter off which is also nice because i can reach all my buttons and we're going to get everything heated up here on this first lap and come in on a flying lap here on long beach circuit in a gt3 with our brand new nrg innovations wheels the wheel already feels great the thumb placement actually being up a little bit higher feels more natural for me in the position I would like to keep my hands on a rim. So it's very comfortable. The Alcatara feels really nice on my hands, but like I said, I'm definitely gonna wanna get some gloves and you can even run it this way with your thumbs on it. And it does feel pretty good, but you don't get that natural turn in as much. So we're definitely gonna be using this wheel for trying it out for drifting in two and stuff like that. But for today, we're hot lapping here because the purpose of this wheel is to be for racing. So we're going to see what we can do in a hot lap with the GT3. And already the wheel feels so much better than that leather Forza wheel. The 350 diameter is feeling so much nicer and is actually working quite better for me. The feel is more natural because I'm used to my 350 wheels. So here we go. We're going to take a hot lap here at Long Beach. Here we're going across the start finish line managing the bumps on the front stretch little uh mild turning we're going to be crossing over and taking a huge braking line looking for a second mark so we're going to hard brake down the second gear cut over kind of clip that don't clip it too hard manage the oversteer down the first through the dangerous fountain turn trying to almost clip our mirror on that wall coming out here breaking at the divider of the wall down in the first in the second looking for our braking marker down in the first there that was a little bit wider than I wanted to but right up against the wall that we're gonna be cutting over looking for our 300 braking point right there 300 hard brake down the first gear could have taken that turn much tighter on the wall but we didn't you know get our braking point exact managing the pumps to that section hard brake down in the first almost clipping the wall run the car all the way out to the wall here onto the stretch here we're gonna be going up into almost fifth gear we're gonna be shifting into fifth right before we start braking we're looking for that invisible 400 marker which is right about there invisible 400 down into second cutting that rumble strip there gonna bring it out hard break in kind of imagine throttle breaking a little bit then a hard break into first gear very tight final corner here at long beach 
and a hot lap here at Long Beach is definitely a very quick lap. Usually about a minute 20 something for me. That one was a minute 23, not my fastest lap, but my line was not exact. So we're gonna go run another one and I feel like I'm already a couple seconds faster. I feel with this wheel, it's a little more precise. Oh, 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 no. That's not what we want to do. We definitely do not want to clip the walls here because you clip the walls and you're done -zo. We could probably get a little more speed through here and probably a little bit more speed through this section. What's our trash level at? Oh, oh, we are actually really high. So we're not getting as much off the turn as we could be. Coming in right there on the wall. Oculus definitely helping me with looking at my wall breaking points. So overall impressions of having the 350 wheel on versus the 320, I'm more comfortable with it. I, it feels much more natural to me where I'm holding it and the feel of the wheel and just having the full rim around and not like the flat bottom wheel is going to feel so much nicer when I need to grab the bottom. And I will also be able to use this for drifting if I really want to, which you know we're gonna be doing here on the channel. We're gonna be pulling out some drifting with this wheel. That was a very skatey turn. We're gonna try and get one more hot lap here. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter, all the stuff the description box below. Once again, a big thank you to NRG Innovations for making this episode possible with this race wheel. This is gonna be definitely a great wheel to have in my arsenal with the R Factor 2 racing series and everything that I'm gonna be doing with my friends as well as the iRacing series and the big things that are coming with iRacing and everything to the channel. So make sure you guys stay tuned and stay to my Instagram and stuff like that so you guys can see all the updates as they come by. I am uh, not running the cleanest lines. Ooh. And I could be a lot faster. My race line is a little bit off. I know. Don't blast me in the comments. Racing the other night with my buddies and I was in uh, 121s and him and I had an amazing battle for about 18 laps until... Uh, a mistake was made and somebody stuffed it into the wall but so i think that'll about wrap up this video i hope you guys enjoyed this once again big thank you to energy innovations definitely an amazing rim and i love the solid and how solid the wheel feels can't wait to get into some intense you know racing with it and of course we're going to be drifting to fully test this rim out so there'll be more you know talks about this wheel and how i feel with the flat spoked rather than the deep dish spoke here on the channel so make sure you guys come back and tune in so as always i thank you guys for watching i'm evil rabbit i'll see you guys on the track